you are welcome once again to philosophy online lecture and uh, we are discussing uh, philosophy and the society and uh, the role of philosophy in society and national development in the previous video we got to understood the importance of social institutions in inculcating value in the people and uh, this is how the will be assurance of continuity and persistence in the social life. Now, when these social institutions play their role, where they help to enhance the capacity of the people, um, both individually and uh, as a society. Now, uh, we want to discuss about the challenges of national development, and uh, we are going to be looking at uh, measuring uh, the national development with uh, the, the the basic tools in measuring national development and our focus will be on two major tools now the first one is freedom now uh, freedom uh, when we use this in the context of national development can be seen in two aspects the first one is the aspect in which the the basic needs of the people we were provided to help them to reach their full potential. That is, uh, th there will be a, a situation, a system that is put in place in which everybody can achieve everything they, that they propose to achieve without restrictions uh, uh, or limitations to what they can actually achieve. Now, the, how do we ensure this? When the, uh, there's provision of adequate security, uh, there is the fulfillment of our social needs like social identity. There is uh, a, a, every necessary things that we help someone to thrive. Now, those are what we uh, term as freedom. Now, when there is electricity, when there is good health services, you know, we won't be limited we won't be limited. Like the problem of electricity in Nigeria now is a major problem and is really limiting people to achieve their full potential now. Uh, so in, in the first context of freedom, there will be a freedom to do what? To achieve your full potential, to go beyond your limits. Uh -huh. So that is uh, in, in the first context now freedom in the second sense or the second level means that there won't be dependence on other individual due to economic constraints or uh, political underdevelopment and this simply means that as an individual you won't have to maybe uh, rely on other individuals for f financial development you everybody is going to be equal you know, everybody will get equal rights, equal benefits, equal opportunities. Now, this is uh, the other uh, the other sense of uh, freedom in the context of national development, and uh, it's is important in this second aspect to recognize the importance of welfare provisions to the definition of the goals of a developmental state that is the state has to put in in one of its priorities the welfare provisions of the people and uh, for example in nigeria we have the free market where everybody can do business you know this is one of the key to a, 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 the development of a society now uh, this doesn't just stop there the the government also has to put through a mechanism of uh, democracy in which uh, there's moral obligation they have the moral obligation to provide care for the sick for the hungry for the shelter uh, and uh, of the homeless and education for all as is the government has to entrench it in their constitution that uh, even those who are less privileged are well taken care of now, this is what we see as an assurance of democracy where there is no classism, there is no uh, division, and everybody is well taken care of. 
Now, the, the, this can only be achieved when the, there is the implementation of the rule of law. And the rule of law states that there is nobody above the law. So equality in this sense is when everybody are treated equally. And uh, so the rule of law is very, very important in the management of public affairs, especially for a society that wish to be considered as political law. Uh, as politically developed. Now, uh, having understood this, we, it, it takes us to the second pillar in measuring national development. You know, the first pillar is freedom, and uh, the, now the second pillar is in measuring national development is uh, has to do with the level of decency in the society. Now, a government that has entrenched the rule of law is a decent government now that that is why we say we, we, we first discuss the aspect of freedom and uh, down to rule of law and then uh, now the second pillar which is the level of decency now the, the when there is a, a a level of decency in the society the this level is determined by the extent to which the values that make social cooperation possible among the people are entrenched in the society. That is, uh, the, the level of decency it has to do with uh, people observing and respecting the values that they share in common towards one another. When those things are assured, then there will certainly be development. Now, in, a, in for example, in Nigerian society where we have the Igbos, we have the Abusas, we have the uh, Fulani, Yoruba, you know, if there is this mutual trust among ourselves, if we have this sense of uh, togetherness, we have this respect for each other, we have compassion for each other, then the, our, the, there's an a high assurance that we are going to develop. But when these values are, are not in place, like, for example, and the most Aosa people don't trust Igbo people, you know, so how do we achieve uh, that mutual trust? How do we achieve that development? It's, it's, it's not possible. So uh, honesty uh, as a value is one of, is very, very important now. Uh, uh, and trust also is very important, just like uh, Francis Fukuyama put it, that trust is like the lubricant that makes the running of a group or organization more efficient. So we can, can see that the, 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 the level of decency, the level of values that are respected in a society are very, very important to group. Now, we shouldn't mistake uh, the fact that because there is science and technology, then the, this is what ensure the progress of the society. We shouldn't divide civilization in terms of material progress. There is more to it. Now, moral itself is uh, a spiritual test that is better than a material world, uh, a, a material one. Now, if we have all science and technology and there are no values, there are no trust for each other, then there will be no process in, in, in using those things to better our lives. Now, it's, it shouldn't uh, be confused that uh, material progress is irrelevant, but what we are trying to say is that there is no development that can be considered to be important, that can be considered to be significant, significant if it does not enhance human dignity by promoting respect for persons as a social ideal and uh, enhancing social cooperation. So uh, the, the instruments, the mechanism for ensuring social cooperation is when those values are upheld, like there is level of decency, yes, and uh, respect for each other. Now, all this we ensure a, a, a national development but these two things that we mentioned are not assured in nigeria that is the freedom to uh, reach your full potential and the uh, the rule of law and then uh, the, that mutual trust and social cooperation uh, so those things are not ensured now in the next uh, video we are going to be looking critically at the nigerian situation and uh, how philosophy can play a role 
in ensuring development. Thank you so much for listening to